to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher Christine of 51 Talk. Congratulations for passing step number two. Welcome to step number three, your pre-service orientation, where you only need to chill in, listen attentively to your trainer. So if in your initial interview and technical check parang nerve breaking talaga siya na na proseso kasi hindi mo talaga maaalis nakakabahan ka kasi nga ano yung itatanong ano yung gagawin follow correctly the instruction so dito sa third step chill in ka lang teach you will just listen very well i-absorb mo lang lahat yung mga sasabihin ni facilitator or ni trainer pala Okay guys, before attending your PSO or pre-service orientation, make sure that you add your trainer 30 minutes before your scheduled time for PSO. And you have to bring with you your staff toy, just like this one. But I think this is a bigger one. Okay, smaller one is already enough. And also, uh, just like this, mm, flashcards, treats like this. And if you have letters just like this, but actually, guys, you will not be using those during the PSO. Kasi ang pinaka importante talaga yung headband at saka yung staff toy. Kasi you will have your pictorials after. And okay, so ano yung idi discuss ni trainer? So unang una, guys. Uh, he will be asking us ano yung pagkakabasa ng 5-1 talk kasi yung iba, binabasa nila na 51 talk, yun rin yung pagbasa ko before, but that is 5-1 talk because in China it sounded like I wanna talk so kung sa kanilang lingwahe sa Mandarin, para siyang yun nga, it sounded like I wanna talk, kaya naging 5-1 talk Okay, so the trainer discuss about the background, the history of the platform, tapos at lahat-lahat. Uh, bakit tayo kailangan kay 5-1 Talk magtrabaho, ganito, ganyan. Hindi ko na i-discuss lahat ng, ng about sa, sa 5-1 Talk company. Basta, it's the leading online English or ESL platform. Okay, so after that, teachers, syempre yung recruitment process na. So, sasabihin ni trainer that you are already on the third step, which you can find that one in your teacher's candidacy portal dito. Dito mo makikita yung step na sinusunod, right? So, of course, you have the initial interview, technical interview, then presently you are in the pre-service orientation. After that is the NTT and or the new teacher's training and then the final demo with the Chinese evaluator. After that is the boarding training or seminar. So, pagkatapos nun, kompleto na yung mga requirements mo, then you will be launched already as a 5-1 talk teacher. Basta kumplitohin mo lang yung mga requirements. So, dun sa onboarding training, dun mo malalaman lahat ng mga dapat i-comply na requirements. Pero, during your PSO, ini-encourage ka na ni trainer na kumplitohin na yun lahat. Okay, so, pag-uusapan natin yung requirements afterwards. Okay, so ikatlong diniskas ni trainer. It's all about the teaching quality standards. Okay, so it will be flashed in your screen. Okay, so this one is the TQS or the teaching quality standards. Be informed, put them into practice, be a champ. Okay, so you have their teaching environment. So we are really encouraged to have well-lit room, excellent camera orientation, clutter-free environment, quiet teaching environment, and kiddified 5-1 talk tarpaulin. Pero hindi naman agad-agad na, na nire-require ni 5-1 talk na teaching tarp talaga yung gagamitin. Pero mayroon talagang standard na sizing at saka design si 5-1 talk tarpaulin. At saka sinabi dito it's kiddified. So, pwede siyang lagyan ng decoration. Pero for me, I find it really formal not to have a lot of decoration. So, that's already fine for me. Okay. So, next is your teaching skills. So, use teaching aids, 
TPR or Total Physical Response or commonly alam natin yan that's the gestures or facial expressions, AC features to enhance student learning, and then be mindful of your grammar and pronunciation. Use short, simple, and clear sentences. Grade your language well. Ask variety of questions to engage the student. All right? And then focus on the target language, keywords, achieve your lesson aims, start and end on time, enter the AC room two to three minutes before the lesson time. It's a 25 minute lesson. Per slot is 25 minutes. So, hindi siya kasi dito sa Pilipinas, one hour, one hour yung ating klase. So, kanila 25 minutes, one slot na yan or one class. Okay? Use supplementary materials to expand the lesson and extend the activities. And then we have the student engagement. Maintain your enthusiasm and energy. Engage your students. Have fun in class. Be patient. It's not right to say, you're wrong. You listen very well. So, it's a no-no. So, you have to be patient and you have to correct the student in the friendliest way. Okay? So, be patient. Stay calm and compose despite challenging situations. So, give corrections in a nice and friendly manner. Share your genuine smile. Yes! Alright, then professionalism. So, dress professionally at all times. Ito, importante itong masyado. So, sleeveless tops are not allowed. Uh, kasi, kung papasok ka kasi sa air classroom teachers, talagang may screen ni 5-1 talk na hindi talaga appropriate yung damit mo. Kasi, one time, talaga medyo, mayroon siyang circle lang nga dito sa aking king blouse. Tapos, yun, nag-text na si 5-1 Talk na inappropriate yung aking dress code. So, you have to to have this, uh, yung may, may collar, oo. At saka, hindi masyado na na-expose ang skin. So, you have to maintain decent and professional dress code. Okay? So, stay focused, avoid distractions, keep camera at all times. So, dapat naka-on palagi ang camera. Pwedeng ang studyante mag-off ng camera, pero si teacher dapat palaging on ang camera. Okay? Do a proper wrap-up. So, that's professionalism as defined by 5-1 Talk. And then here, lesson memo. So, pagkatapos ng 25 minute natin, mayroon tayong lesson memo na gagawin. Always submit an accurate lesson memo. Make sure to fill everything out properly. Do not post a lesson memo if you are absent or if your student is absent. Submit timely and accurate lesson memo. Okay, so those are all for the teaching standards, which you can find that one in your my page. If your if your temporary teachers can did receive portal will turn into my page. So, mag-iiba yan, teacher, kung malalunch ka na. Okay, so next topic ni trainer is about this very strict compliance that the teacher should follow. Okay, ito palagi itong magpa-pop up sa atin every time na i-open natin yung account natin kay 5-1 Talk. Kasi kung na-absorb ka na, hired ka na ni 5-1 Talk, mayroon tayong tinatawag na my page. Yun yung parang private account natin, account natin sa 5-1 Talk. So, dun tayo mag-open ang slot at iba-iba pa. Okay, so every time na pumasok tayo doon at saka papasok tayo sa klase via air classroom, ito yung magpa-pop up. So, napaka-importante nito na i-follow ni teacher. If isa lang dito ang hindi ma-follow ni teacher, immediately advice for service cancellation. Okay. So, it will be flashed in your screen, zero tolerance policy for strict compliance. So, we have first, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and Tibet are part of China. Do not ever mention 
any political topics including COVID-19 related during your lesson with students. So, bawal talaga yan, teach. Number two, do not engage in any form of sexual harassment, obscenity, indecent conversation, nudity, and sexual acts. Okay? And number three, do not be rude or engage in any form of violence or show scary acts or photos. Okay, so kung for example, si student talaga ang, ang nag-open up ng mga topic na ito. So, talagang ibalik nyo siya sa material. Stick to the material. Be to the student in a friendliest way na it's not part of our topic. Let's stick to the topic, okay? So, alright. So, we'll now talk about this object. So, you have to also be friendly in correcting the student. So, bawal talaga kasi yan. And remember, teachers na, recorded ang bawat klase natin. So, monitor yan ng mga Chinese. So, again, teachers, that's very important. So, we consider this as taboo topics. Wag talaga si tabu topic sa mga estudyante natin. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na ZTP or Zero Tolerance Policy. Okay? So, those are very sensitive, sensual topics that we have to avoid. Okay. Next topic is about the peak hours. Okay? So, if you will be hired already as a 5-1 talk teacher, you are really required to open 65 peak slots. So, ano yung peak slots? So, ibig sabihin, yun yung mga time na talagang maraming studyanteng active. Active kasi, yun yung oras na maraming nagpapabook. So, from Monday to Sunday, peak hours are from 7 o'clock in the evening to 9.30 in the evening. Okay? So, dapat dyan tayo mag-open ng slots. Kasi maraming studyante sa mga oras na yan. Okay. Now, every Saturday and Sunday, so ang ating peak hours is from 9 in the morning to 9.30 in the evening. Okay? Every Saturday and Sunday. Pero mayroon rin tayong tinatawag na pop, yung peak of peak hours. So, we have 7 to 9.30 in the evening. Those are the peak of peak hours. Alright? So, dapat doon, mayroon tayong naka-open na mga slots dyan, teachers, kasi dyan magka-count ang ating 65 peak slots. Kung iisipin natin, teachers, konti lang talaga yung 65 peak slots. Hindi yan dapat na ipag-worry. Pero pwede kang sumobra sa 65 peak peak slots. Okay? So, paano naman kung hindi ka mag-open ng 65 peak slots? You cannot open classes kasi hindi magpo-proceed. You cannot proceed in opening your slots kung hindi siya aabot ng 65. It's part of our commitment kasi tinanong na yan during our initial interview if you're willing to open 65 peak slots. So, kung hindi, Kung hindi ka makapag-open ng slot in a month, so madi-reactivate ka. Alright? Uh, by the way, teachers, yung 65 peak slots for 15 rolling days yon. So, dapat mag-open ka ng 65 peak slots for 15 days. So, so, so kung January 1 to January 15, dapat mayroon kang 65 peak slots na na-open. Kung full-timer ka, marami masyadong ma-open mo na slot. Kasi, classes in 5-1 Talk will start as early as 6 in the morning to 12 midnight. So, matatapos siya ng 12 midnight. So, ganun kataas. So, pipili ka ng, ng oras mo kung anong gusto mo, kung convenient kang magturo ubusin mong lahat. So, yun. I will repeat, teachers. One class is equivalent to 25 minutes. minutes. 
So, if you open your class 7 o'clock, nag-classic ka from 7.25, you will have a break to 7.25 to 7.30. Mayroon ka na namang classes. Kung mayroong nagpabook sa 7.30, another class up to 7.55. Okay, so, bakante na naman ng 5 minutes. So, you will start another class at 8 o'clock. It depends upon you kasi ikaw yung pipili ng oras na kung anong oras convenient ka magturo. Ganun ka flexible si 5-1 top. Okay, so the next topic is the launching requirement. So, yung mga dapat na kumplitohin mo para ma-launch ka as 5-1 Talk Teacher if ever na makapasa ka sa NTT at saka sa final demo. So, you, your trainer will send you this. 2 by 2 pictures, can copy, 1 valid ID, uh, voice recording. Okay, ito teachers. Itong voice recording, bibigyan kayo ng script. So, dapat practicein yung mabuti yung script. Kasi, yan yung pakikinggan ng mga estudyante or ni parent or ng mga parents kung pipili na sila ng teacher kung saan sila magpapabook. So, pakikinggan nila yung boses mo at saka yung pronunciation mo. Dapat na ma-record mo ng mabuti yung voice recording na isasubmit mo kay 51 Talk. Okay, so, yun na yung pakikinggan mo sa my page. Ito, sure. So, sa yung my page dyan, every time na i-click mo yan, maririnig mo yung boses mo. Okay, so, dapat maganda talaga ang pagkaka-record. Okay, para mas maraming bookings, marami kang studyante. At saka yung 2 by 2 picture nga pala, teachers. Dapat maganda rin, disente yung ating dress. Uh, corporate attire siya dapat. Formal talaga siya tignan. Okay? So, kasi yung akin, tignan nyo guys, yan. Yan yung picture ko. So, hindi ko nabuhay ha yung buhok ko. So, parang nag-regret rin ako. Bakit yun yung aking isinabmi? Dapat maganda. <laughs> maganda yung, yung inyong picture na ibibigay kay 5-1 to. Kasi yun na yung nakadikit sa inyong my page. At saka yun yung unang makikita ng mga estudyante at parents. So, again, picture, voice recording are very important. Okay? So, yun na yun. Tsaka yung diploma, yung NBI clearance. Okay? So, dapat daw na kompleto ito before NTT. Pero during our time, our trainer said, kahit hindi ito kompleto, mag-attend ng NTT. Kasi, pwede naman mag-attend ng NTT kahit na hindi pa ito kompleto teachers. Okay? Okay, next topic is yung pinaka-importante, yung lesson payment. So, if you are a newly hired teacher, so yung una mong sweldo per class is 54 pesos. Pero kung good ang good ang feedback ng sudyante, you will have additional 3 pesos. Pero kung tataas na yung rank mo, magiging 58, magiging 62, magiging 68, tataas ng tataas yan, teachers. Basta mag-promote ka lang. Tapos, alagaan ang performance, i-avoid ang penalties, mas marami ka pang matututunan along the, the process. Okay, so, okay, so next topic is on the BPI savings account. So, kung saan dito ihuhulog ni 51 to yung ating sahod, yung ating salary. Okay, so dapat nating mag-open ng BPI account savings tapos before, ang alam ko, 100 to 300 lang yung dapat na bayaran over the bank para maka-open ako ng aking account. Nasyak ako guys kasi kailangan ko ng 3,000 para makapag-open ako ng BPI account. Ang sakit. Pero anyway, um, it's immediately withdrawable naman pagkatapos na makapag-open ka. Pero at first, parang nalakihan ako kasi nag-expect lang ako ng 100 to 300. Okay? So, be prepared on that. But if you have already the existing BPI account, di wala ng problema, guys. You can also have the PayPal. Hindi ko lang alam ang proseso nun, teachers. Tapos, you have to ask 
5.1 talk about it, yung application care PH dun sa Skype. Pwede kang magtanong doon kung ano yung mga places na ibigyan pa rin nila ng special consideration regarding the PayPal. So dun, okay, so another topic that our trainer discusses about the TESEL program. So that stands for teaching English to second language learners. Yun yung TESEL. Okay, so that is a certification that will boost us as English teachers because if the parent and the learner see that you are a tag TESEL certified teacher, then mas tataas yung integrity mo and credibility mo as a teacher. Trainer also uh, discuss about the service agreement and what else na dapat kaming mag-download ng Air Classroom application kasi doon tayo magtuturo. And then, mayroon ang ibibigay sa atin na, na 5-1 talk name. So, yun yung official name na nagagamitin natin as teacher of 5-1 talk. Bakit kailangan nun? Para hindi tayo matrace ng ating mga learners at saka... Uh, mayroon tayong privacy code din. So, hindi natin gagamitin yung name natin as who we are. Mayroon tayong parang tatawagin natin siyang screen name. Okay? So, pagkatapos ng training, kung walang mga tanong-tanong na, uh, so, bibigyan ka na ng schedule ni trainer or the new teacher's training. Okay? So, that will be the fourth step. So, okay, so those are all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and please also hit the notification bell so, so you can follow all my upcoming videos. And if, and if you want to visit my page, I have there many informative videos which will help you along the process of your application and it will also give you an idea on how to teach the Chinese students. Okay? So, see you again next time. And if you want to ask me personally, you can. You can comment down below. And you can also reach me through my Skype. Alright, so thank you very much for watching this video. Again, always smile and God bless everyone. Goodbye! See you again next time.